And welcome back to the show. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is unlike any other pediatric treatment and research facility. Discoveries made there have completely changed how the world treats children with cancer and other illnesses. But they need money to help keep some of their critical programs going. Joining me now, Malika Sylvain. She's the Southeast Regional Director at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Thank you so much for being on the show. No problem. Thank you for this opportunity. It's wonderful. So we know that fundraising is critical. Can you describe how critical it is in this situation with the children and cancer and everything you guys are working on? Absolutely. So it costs $1.9 million a day to run the hospital. 1.9 million wow. and the majority of our um, donations come from average everyday people that donate um, you know become a partner in hope um, which is about twenty dollars a month on a credit card and um, it automatically comes out you don't think about it and but the thought of you helping the children of st. Jude is just is priceless you see it all I'm sure working in that environment so maybe you can give me an idea you know how helpful an event like this a fundraising event like this is to a child's life. Absolutely. So, you know, of course the funding is very important, but the awareness as well. Um, letting the communities throughout the, the United States as well as the world know that St. Jude, although it's in Memphis, Tennessee, we have patients from all over the world. Our protocols are shared freely to doctors and hospitals all over the world. And um, we went from a 20% cure rate of childhood cancers back in uh, 50 years ago when our hospital opened in 1962 to a 80% cure rate of childhood cancers. So we're wow. excited about that. We are really looking forward um, and our goal is to be at a 90% cure rate in the next 10 years. So this cruise and event, Malika, I mean, how will this help St. Jude? Um, again, um, the fundraising is really important, um, but as well with the, 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 the Divine Nine, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I am a part of as well. Oh, are you I'm both? a Delta, yes. Oh, great. And um, with their help, it brings awareness to the African American community. Um, a lot of times we don't know that we have St. Jude as a r resource. Um, St. Jude was the um, first hospital to come up with a, a cure for sickle cell um, through a, bear, a bone marrow transplant. Wow, okay. So, and with that directly affects our community. That's great. Yeah. And so, um, are you out there riding too? I, I hope to ride that day, yes. <laughs> I hope to ride that day. I've been and riding for a few years and I'm really excited about it. So, riding is close and near dear to my heart and of course St. Jude is. So, how can people um, help St. Jude? I mean, obviously partaking in this event, but what else can they do? Uh, well, we have several events um, every year in, in cities all over the United States, specifically here in Atlanta. Um, we have our Give Thanks Walk, which is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. It's um, the same time every year, and it's in 72 states, excuse me, 72 cities mm -hmm. around the United States simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing you can get involved in. Volunteering, we always need volunteers. Um, um, like to what? help at different, what do you mean? Um, at the Give Thanks Walk, we need help setting up. Okay. We need help with people greeting our walkers, um, handing out water, um, things like that. So um, there's always an opportunity to be to be helpful. Yeah, and you can make a difference doing that too. I mean, even if you don't ride, there's still a way to contribute and make a difference. Right? Absolutely. The other thing that you could do, um, your churches can get involved with our Sunday of Hope, and that is where we come in. Um, and we give a presentation to your congregation and ask for a special donation. Great. And so if folks want more information about helping or taking part in this uh, bike ride that's coming up, what do you tell them? Sure. Go to stjude.org. Um, you can find what activities and events and volunteer opportunities there are around the United States, as well as information about St. Jude. And locally, you can call 770-416-416. 7707. Great. And I see a number on the screen too for donations. Yes. Is this, how is this different from the first number? So the first number is actually to our office here okay. in Atlanta. Okay. The second number is to our, to St. Jude, where you can d directly donate and become a partner in Hope. Great. And so you see 800 805 5856. Um, what specifically do you do with those donations you know, for children? Well, the wonderful thing about St. Jude is in the last five years, 81 cent to every dollar goes directly to the hospital, which is a pretty high percentage. We're proud of that. Are there programs and things that you provide um, to the children as well? I know you have a $1.9 million operation every day, yes, right? Yes, yes. Is what you said. And yes. so clearly you got to do that. But 
what about, and maybe that includes like programs for these it does. children and things like that. Yeah, right? so we are a, you know, we are the first place to have our research and our doctors and our patients all in the same facility. It is more than just a hospital, it's a campus. Um, it's, it's millions of square feet and um, we have physical therapy, we have a chapel within our, our the hospital, we have um, a daycare, and we don't just service the, the children that are unfortunately diagnosed with cancer, but we really concentrate on the family. Um, because no child or family has to pay for anything at St. Jude, the families can really focus on the life of their child. And um, we only have 78 um, inpatient beds. Uh, most of our patients are treated outpatient. We have um, 7,800 active patients every year, mm. and we see about 260 patients a day. Mm. But fortunately, they're able to go home, and their, our protocols and what we need for our patients, we provide to the doctors in their local cities to be able to continue to treat them so they don't have to physically stay at St. Jude. But we do have housing facilities on our campus, on the Ronald McDonald House, the Grizzly House, where if a family, God forbid, has to stay for an, an extended period of time, they have the resources and don't have to pay for food. They don't have to pay for the housing. Nice. The Target House provides linens and everything to our families. It's wonderful. That's, that's just great. And so I bet it's pretty cool for you to be involved in this ride, this cruise and event. It is. And know that you're contributing right back to, to where you are uh, passionate, you know, yes. as far as St. Jude and yes. making a difference there. It's got to be a neat connection for you. It is. Um, I, I am thankful to God for the opportunity for me to be able to work for St. Jude, but it's more than just a job. It's a lifestyle. Um, my children, when they took pictures for their um, school pictures, they had on their St. Jude necklace or their St. Nice. Jude t-shirt. And, you know, our families really wrap our arms around um, the cause and, and the families and, and um, you know, what, what we're doing to save these children's lives. So it's wonderful. That's, that's so wonderful. Malika Sylvain, thank you so much. Thank you. With St. Jude and best of luck to you. Thank you. For more information about other events benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, as you can see right there, log on to stjude.org or call 770-416-7707 for donations. This is the number there at the bottom, 800-805-5856. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this to wrap up this all-important show.